Tannis is with us in Canada. Hi, Tannis. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Better than I deserve. What's up? Um, okay, so I am kind of on baby step number one. I've been also, well, I, I thought I was on two, but it turns out I'm back on one. So I had some money put away, and I, my savings were, were okay. And so I made a lump sum payment on my student loans, which was great. But now, like after um, a couple things happened, now I'm kind of back at square one. But I just feel like every paycheck, I'm reaching more into my emergency fund because it's like I'm always behind. In each paycheck, I'm catching up from something I missed the previous two weeks. And I just like, I just can't, uh, I can't get ahead. What's causing you to be in the hole right now? Which expenses is it? My student loan payments are like killer. So what's your income? Um, it kind of it kind of varies. So I'm on salary for the first time in my life too, which is very different for me. Um, but uh, yeah, so like uh, salary is three thousand dollars a month, and then I might make another um, like a thousand dollars with just like the extra work that I've been doing. Um, but that varies again, so it just depends on on kind of what's available. And what's your minimum payments on all of your debts? Uh, my minimum payments for my student loans is $650 a month. And then I have a $200 car insurance payment. My rent is $800. Um, and then I'm trying to think, I have like tenant insurance, that's only like 50 bucks a month. But it like the small things are really adding up to. Mm. Well, the student how, loans alone how, are not how, draining How old you. are you? I'm 25. I just turned 25. Okay. All right. And... Um... All right. Well, here's the thing. Um, it sounds like, A, you just started this process. And, B, it sounds like when you write down your budget that it's more like a wish or a suggestion. Well, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Like, so I, what I did is I took, I, I went through all my statements from the last, like, three or four months, and I went through everything that I, I can't change right now, like my student loan payments, right. my gas, like that kind right. of stuff. Right. And I wrote that all down as mandatory payments. And then everything else I broke up into are they needs or are they wants. And so, like, even when I do that on paper, it's like I only have, like, two to three hundred dollars in between each paycheck mm -hmm. and then something comes up if that makes sense yeah, because i know it takes time yeah you're doing the budget wrong okay okay because right, you shouldn't have any money left on your budget you should have it all every dollar should have a name before the month begins so i want you to pan back and say i got three thousand dollars and if you don't have three thousand dollars you need to get three thousand dollars in other words if that thousand dollar gig doesn't kick in then you got to work an extra job and make sure you at least have three thousand dollars all right now then yeah. i want you to write down your mandatories you got the 800 you got the 200 you got the different mandatories like you said that are in there i want you to give all of those dollars a name on that budget and decide which paycheck each one's coming out of yeah. before the month begins i want you to completely plan out how you're going to pay your bills and that okay. includes if you have money that is a want that's left over, then you're going to plug it in as a want. If you have money that's a need, a mandatory, you're going to plug it in as that. But if you have $3,000 come in and you have planned to spend $3,000 exactly and you spend it exactly as you had planned, you're not going to have a crisis. Agreed? Yeah. But what's happening is, is that... Um, some friend calls and goes, let's go out for drinks. Right. Yeah, that's exactly And then I what's... just see leftover money and think it's spendable income. Yeah, because it's left over. And, if, and instead, if you said, I have this much allocated for social, for happy hour, you know, I got 50 bucks allocated for happy hour, and you did that last week, then the friend calls, you got to say no. But you don't have anything right. that gives you a no button. All you've got is yes buttons. Right. And your yes buttons well, that's, that's are blowing up the whole I, thing. But I feel like I'm saying no to everything. Like I feel, you're like not. That's why I feel no, you're so, not. You're so just desperate. whining. You're not. You're just you whining. <laughs> you're just whining. That's probably fair, yeah. yeah you're, you're not saying no to enough. That's why you're in crisis. Right. Are you working extra on top of your full-time job? Yeah, like I work like like... 10 to 12 hour days depending on the day 
Okay. But for the same salary, I'm saying, do you have extra jobs? Side yeah, hustles. yeah. So, so I, uh, my salary, like, so I like, um, I like teach group fitness classes on top of my salary job, mm-hmm. and so what I'll do take they pay? as many classes as I can. What's uh, that pay? Up to fifty-five dollars an hour. So oh, that's good. It just depends on how many people show up, and it, it takes time to for people to come to your classes more. And I have been getting getting more. So, so you get fifty-five right dollars an hour. Yeah, if the class is full right now, I'm averaging forty-five. Okay. That's pretty good. It just depends on the classes are available. Yeah, so you're really not making that. You're not making that at your day job. No, that's like I don't know if I should quit my day job. No, just, no, like, no. You need the money or... right now. We don't need to quit anything. We need to do more. But you know, it sounds to yeah. me like I, you know, what I would do is try to do forty hours worth of fitness work. Right. You'll be tired, but you'll be fit. Yeah. And you won't have been going out drinking. You will have been getting fit and making forty five dollars an hour, and you would have cleaned up this mess. Right. What's your total debt? Uh, <laughs> uh, $60,000 in student loans purely. I don't have any credit yeah. cards, and I don't have a car payment or anything. Yeah. So here's the thing. Okay, we're going to ship you a copy of the book, The Total Money Makeover, and show you exactly how to do this. What I have figured out is the matter I get about my situation, the more extreme I get about fixing my situation. And you're just beginning to get angry. But I just want to turn your anger up a little bit. That's kind of why I was poking at you a little bit. I want to get you mad. Even if you're mad at me, that's okay. Because I'll just be your coach. I'll be your friend that loves you enough to take the blows, okay? So uh, I want you to go win, girl. And you've, you're smart. We're talking to you for a few minutes. You're not dumb. You haven't got any problem. But your, your issue is focus. And this extreme focus that comes from an extreme sacrifice that comes from a healthy level of anger is, is really what the uh, recipe is. Uh, it is a bit like fitness stuff. Um, you know, you tell people to do stuff. There's ones that kind of care and kind of don't care. But the ones that have to lose weight or the doctor says they're going to die, uh, they figure out a way to lose the weight. The ones that go, you know, my, 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 my pants are just tight. You know, they don't lose weight. That's not enough. Vanity is not enough to get you to Need do it. Need a bigger why. you got to get fired up about whatever it is, whatever behavior you're doing that changes everything. And um, you're getting there, but you're just starting this journey. I've got real hope for you. I think a month from now, you're going to be a beast. Oh, yeah. I remember when I was getting out of debt, Dave, when I started here, and I was doing Uber. I had the Nielsen People Meter to make another 20 bucks a month. I was eating lean cuisines, waiting for them to go 5 for 10 on ooh, sale. Ooh, that's gross. But it was worth it, and I that's will gross. never eat a lean cuisine again, Dave. Amen. Amen. you got to have something you'd never eat again because you had to eat it when you were broke. Broke people food. Find that food. Yeah, ramen noodles, tuna fish for me. I hate tuna fish. Yeah, hang on. We'll send you a copy of that book, kiddo. You call us anytime we can help. 888-825-5225.